Welcome to this TechniCourse tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss how to send emails automatically to your sales customers. When a customer purchases products through one of your sales funnels, you're going to want to send an automated email directly to them with information specific to their purchase. So as we've seen in other tutorials, the first step to setting up a sales funnel is to populate your cloud funnels with some products. Once you have some products, then you can set up a sales funnel. Here we have a sales funnel already set up. We'll just take a look at this one. And we can see that we've got the sales page, order form, confirmation page, and a cancellation page. So the order form, we'll take a look at the page details here. And we can see that this order form is connected to the customer list. So in order to send your customers a direct email, when they make a purchase, you'll have to have your order form assigned to a list. So if you haven't done that already, you can go to the lists column here and you can create a list to accommodate those customers. Now from the order form back into the page setup here, we'll make sure that our order form is attached to a customer list. So everyone that purchases with this order form will be automatically added to our customer list. And whenever we make any changes, we always have to make sure we click Save Settings. Now the next step is to go to Sequences. This is where we can set up an automated email to send out when the customer makes a purchase. Here we've already configured one, so we'll take a look at that. But if you don't have one already, you can just create new. So let's take a look at the settings of this purchase confirmation. And we'll give our sequence a title for our own purposes. In this case, we've called it purchase confirmation so we can find it easily later on. But the email subject is separate from that. And this is what the customer will see when we email this directly to their email. Then we'll select an SMTP. Or we can use the default hosting mailer. And then this is the important part here. Now we have to select a list. And this has to be the same list that we just assigned to that order form in the funnel. So we assigned the customer list to that order form. So here in this sequence, we'll assign the customer list as well. Then we can designate the amount of time that we want to pass before we send out the email. In this case, we want to send out during sign up, basically immediately as soon as they make the purchase. There is a place here for an unsubscription message, but for an order confirmation, it's not really necessary. Now here in the email body is where things get kind of specific to the products that they've purchased. Here, this is just plain text that we've altered with some bold and underline. And so when the email appears, it will say your products. However, all of these codes here within the curly brackets are all short code. And when the customer receives the email, these short codes will render into their specific products. And specifically, it will show them their product ID, their product title, and their product URL. Now there's even more short code options that we can use in this products section. So to find that, we'll go down to the help button here. We'll just open that in a new tab for easy reference. And what we're looking for is product templating for email. So we'll just open this up and we'll see here that if they've purchased a single product, we can use any of these short codes to render their product ID, their product title, URL, purchase currency, or tax. But if we only paste this short code on its own, it will display only for a single product that the customer purchased. Or in the event that they've purchased more than one product, it will display only for the first product on the list. So let's just take a quick look at our products here. I'll open this in a new tab. And we'll see that some of our products may be in a bundle where several sub products are attached as well. So there may be cases that your customer is purchasing several products all at once. So in that case, what we want to do is use a multiple product loop. And to do that, what we do is we start the loop with this closed brackets products and end the loop 
with closed brackets slash products. And then everything that we put between these two lines, which open and close the product loop, all of these items that we put in between will be repeated for every product that they have purchased. So going back to our email, you can see here that what we've done is we have placed a product loop here that opens with products and closes with slash products. And within that loop, we have put a number sign to designate the product ID, a dash to separate the product ID from the product title. And below that, we've placed the product URL. Now, an important point to note when you're using these is if you were to copy these directly from the help page and then paste that into the email body text editor, you'll notice that when it pasted, it included some formatting that it carried over from the help page. Now, we included formatting in this help page to make it easier to read. However, when that formatting gets imported into the text body editor, it will confuse cloud funnels and these will not render properly. What you would have to do first is highlight all those and then you could go to format and clear all formatting. And now what that's done is put these short codes into a format that cloud funnels can understand. Now that the formatting has been cleared, we can choose to go back and add bold and italic and change the colors and do anything else that we want to adjust it, but we have to do that here within the text editor. If we copy and paste any formatting into the text editor, that will confuse it. If we clear all formatting and then make further formatting changes within the text editor, that will be okay. So I'll just remove these items because we don't need them for now. And anytime you make any changes, always be sure to save your changes. So now what we've done is we've created a sequence called purchase confirmation that will thank the client for their purchase and it will provide them with their product ID, product title, and product URL within a loop. So it will provide this for every single one of the products that they purchase. And we have attached this sequence to the customer mailing list. And here we'll go back to our funnels. And here within our sales funnel, we'll just double check our sales funnel and to make sure that our order form is attached to the customer mailing list. And it is. So to test this out, let's go ahead and copy our order form URL to a clipboard open a new tab and visit that order form and let's run a test purchase. And once we fill in our credentials, we can click next. And this opens our payment method that we have set in our sales funnel. So we'll go ahead and process this payment. And if we expand the cart, we can see all of the products that we purchased within this bundle. So in this one purchase, we've actually purchased one, two, three, four, five different products. So we'll go ahead and continue. And this brings us to the confirmation page in our funnel, which lets the customer know that we've sent a confirmation email. So we'll just head to our email inbox and we'll see here is the email that we just sent. Thank you for your purchase one minute ago. And here we can see the formatting, how it rendered. And this shows us the product ID number and product title and product URL for one, two, three, four, five different products. And we'll just compare that to our sequence. And you can see here we had your products followed by a double space. And there's products followed by a double space. And then we had the product loop open and product loop close. And within the product loop, we had number sign, product ID, space, dash, space, product title. And here we have number sign, 
product ID, space, dash, space, product title. And on the next line, we had the product URL, followed by a line break, at which point the product loop repeats. And here we have the product URL, followed by a line break, at which point the product loop repeats. So I've kept this very basic so that you can see clearly what it is that we're working with. But knowing how this loops and how you can integrate your own text around it to make it clear for the customer, you can see how easy it is to provide detailed product summaries in your confirmation emails to your customers and have it sent out automatically when they make a purchase. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.